Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to see how we can use this barometric pressure and temperature sensor BMP180. As you can see here, we will be able to see the temperature, the barometric pressure, and also relative um, pressure and all those information. You can get the code for this project and the library by clicking on the link in the description below, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. This is the module and this is the actual uh, Bosch BMP180, not everything. So this, this is BMP180 and it, because it operates with uh, up to 3.6 volts. So we have a voltage regulator here that gets 5 volts or maybe a little higher to convert it to 3 volts. And we have 4 pin here and there is a screw hole for this. And we have VN which you connected to 5 volts of Arduino ground and then SCL that's clock and then signal for clock, singer, signal for data. DA will be connected to A4 and SCL will be connected to A5. Width of this is 10.5 millimeter. The length of the device is 13 millimeter. Depth of the module is 2.5 millimeter. There is a data sheet. Uh, this is made by Bosch, uh, a German manufacturer, and uh, BMP180. This is called Digital Pressure Sensor. And here is a quick key feature from 300 to 110 hectopascal and at a sea level be between these values so it can measure up this much pressure. The supply voltage is 1.8 to 3.6 but because we are using external regulator then we will have uh, we can operate it with 5 volts and above up to 12 volts and then the package is 3.6 by 3.8 which means it's almost squared so the other one BMP280 is not squared so from this you know which model you are working with and uh, the interface is I square C and also it has a temperature sensor included. So a typical application it can be on your mobile phone navigation system weather and also vertical velocity indication which means because it shows the uh, pressure from that we know if something goes up and down the pressure changes so it can be used for that purpose. Here are some characteristics the temperature the operational condition this operating temperature is between these values so if you keep it out of this range it will not uh, uh, function properly but full accuracy is between 0 to 65 and then the supply voltage is are these values supply current that you can see it has 3, 5 under these different conditions up to 32 microampere which is very minimal so this is very low and during the conversion, it's 1000 microampere or 1 milliampere. So relative accuracy in terms of pressure uh, between the 950 and 1050 pico hecto, uh, hectopascal is zero plus minus 0 0.12 hectopascal. And then absolute value is plus 2 in terms of accuracy. Conversion time pressure. So ultra low pressure mode at uh, this is minimum the typical and or the maximum is 4.5 millisecond it takes in terms of temperature again this is the value and serial clock is 3.4 in, in case if you need it so this device has VN ground uh, signal for clock signal data mm, so SD and SCL VC, this VN is connected to 5 volts So this VN is connected to 5 volt, ground is connected to the brown, ground and SDA is connected to SDA or we are connecting it to A4 and SCL is connected to A5. So my Arduino has both pens here, SDA and SCL, I am connecting it, otherwise SDA will be connected to A4 and SCL will be connected to A5. I'll give you the, the link for this library from Adafruit. 
BMP180H. This wire is for the I square C or I to C communication, so we need to include this. I will give you the link for this so you can download it either from robojax.com or from the um, uh, provided uh, source. The first thing we do is we are creating the pressure uh, ins instance of uh, the object for this and then we will use this across this uh, code and then the only data that you provide is your current location that you go to Google map and then type and get this uh, by typing your city name and location and say uh, uh, elevation so this is my location which is in Ajax Ontario Canada and then inside the setup we are initializing the serial monitor this is a monitor that is displaying and 9600 bar is this value if if it doesn't match if these two are not the same you will not be able to read it and then this will just print the text and here we say pressure begin we are checking it because this will return tr true if it's true this this will be printed on the screen else it will print fail so you have to get this success at the beginning of the code which is this one and then the loop starts the loop is a value as you can see here if it fails we put while one that is pausing forever so every time you need to pause forever just put while and inside put one inside the loop uh, this is a character status this is just one character and then these are the double variables capital T P uh, P0 and then A so these are the variables that we need then we first print this empty line this is the one and then we print provided altitude as you can see here and then the, this altitude is the one that we have provided so it prints 90 as you can see here and then altitude multiply by this factor to give you the feet so this gives you the feet then we are getting pressure dot start temperature and then we get get temperature and then t this is the uh, variable that we have here for the temperature this variable this works the variable the the value will be stored in t in capital t that which is in celsius so we print this text temperature and then this t is this value and two means with two decimal points so 0 0.26 and then we print this text after that we are converting t with this formula to convert it to fahrenheit so this shows here then the start pressures number three this is for pressure and it will return true if it is able to get the pressure and here we put we say pressure and temperature the two value when it gets the pressure then the absolute pressure is printed with this p here and then with two decimal point and millibar at the end and then we get the same p multiplied by this factor to get a uh, mercury inch inch mercury value and here we are getting another value here we are passing t by the way the temperature and we are getting the pressure and here we are getting the relative uh, value here we are passing the pressure and altitude so we are pu pu pushing our altitude and the pressure so we are getting Uh, we are at 90 meters so here that that the sea level compensated so it will return this millibar here and then converting it to the mercury uh, inch mercury and then finally the last one will get the pressure and then this absolute pressure and this sorry this sea level pressure we are passing these two value to get the altitude and we are getting a the result of this is stored in a and we are printing a in meter and then the serial monitor also prints the a in terms of foot this is the value and in all those cases if it fails it prints different uh, warnings 
and it waits for five uh, seconds and reads again so every this is each of this uh, information block of information is printed every five seconds you can see here from this device we are reading here the temperature at as 26.45 degrees celsius and 79 fahrenheit and this is the provided i know my from my location which is 90 meter ajax ontario you can find your location altitude like you just type uh, 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 your city and the province elevation as you can see Google will show you that it's 90 meter above the sea level if I stop this scrolling now you will see that the temperature in degrees Celsius and also in Fahrenheit and also absolute pressure in millibar and also this is inch of mercury 29.3 and then the relative sea level pressure is this millibar and it's in inch of mercury and then the calculated based on this is 90 meter or 259 which is the same as provided one uh, show you the mm, pressure because I have to go very high in buildings or maybe mountain to show you the difference because I have to go a few meters up and down but I can demonstrate with uh, this heat gun to show you the temperature so pay attention here that it shows 28 degrees and as you can see it's already 69 degrees every 5 seconds it reads it so now it should go back down 63 and the uh, temperature will decrease slowly back to the uh, room temperatures Thank you for watching this was introduction on how to use this Bosch BMP 180 uh, sensor please subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos specifically I'm gonna use this LCD 1602 to display these values and also I'm gonna use another video LCD 2004 with four lines to display these values the code will be provided for all of this if you have any comment or question please don't hesitate to post it at the description box below the comment section and I will try to answer and reply. Thank you.